Hi, I'm Flynn from Buoyant. I'm going to talk to you today about how service meshes add reliability to Kubernetes applications. So, if we think about the way your application tends to be, you will have a pod in your cluster. There's workload A over here, and we'll have workload B, and these will end up communicating with each other. Inside, of course, we have the application uh, container. Application A over here, and of course we have a container with application code for workload B over here. We may also have multiple pods for the same application. This is pretty typical in a case where you've got high reliability going on. So these are two different pods, but they're both running exactly the same application code. We also have our sidecars with the service mesh. And you'll notice that the sidecar is actually the thing that's managing communications here. So our application container talks to the sidecar, which then sends a connection over to this other sidecar, which then talks to the application, and then the responses come back through the same path. So, the first way that the mesh adds reliability is that this connection here in the middle is actually a full duplex, multiplexed stream of individual requests. The sidecars will look at these requests and they can decide to do things like routing one request to this pod. They can decide to do things like routing the next request down here through its sidecar. This ends up being a pretty big distinction because if you don't have a mesh, the only thing that could happen here is full connections. So for example, if you're doing gRPC, with the service mesh, you can have one gRPC request going to be one and the second one going to be two, whereas without the service mesh, probably this will just make a single connection to be one, funnel all its requests over it, and you don't do it, have anything going to be two. Also, with Linkerd, the sidecar here deciding which to go to actually gets to know how busy each of these sidecars is because of the way Linkerd works. And so it can deliberately decide to route, oh, this request I'll send over to B1 because it's less busy than B2 at this particular moment. Linkerd puts a lot of effort into getting that right. It's kind of nice. Another thing that happens is suppose that when this particular connection got made, suppose it failed. So the first thing is that the sidecar here, if that request fails, the sidecar can just immediately route it over to another one without even bothering to let the application pod know. We get to do immediate automatic retries. And again, this is not requiring you to do any changes in your application code at all. Also, if it keeps failing, then the sidecar can surface that as a 502 instead of just having the connection break. And that can be a lot easier in terms of letting your application report something meaningful to the user. Finally, we can also do things like, for example, if this comes over here and it takes a really, really long time, then the sidecar can decide, okay, I'm done with this one, I'm just gonna let that connection die and then go ahead back down to the second one to do much more configurable timeouts. Again, giving this application code the opportunity to take action to manage the timeouts better. So. Some really simple things here. We have much smarter load balancing. We have per request load balancing. We can do automatic retries. And we can end up doing timeouts. And all of these are things that can happen down at the layer of the platform without needing any changes to your application at all. And that's just a quick look at some of the ways that the mesh adds reliability to your application.